Social media, friend or foe. Foe, meaning enemy or opponent, truly embodies the presence of social media in our society. As the legions of Facebook's minions come charging like barbarians at the gate. Ladies and gentlemen, the end is nigh. Prepare yourself as our great demise leads us into the rapture. As the gates of Hades open up from the ground to consume us into the river Styx. Forget the epidemic of drugs, disease, hunger, or any other problem that plagues society. Social media is the foe. The great conspiracy that captured Harold Holt, the entity that allowed New South Wales to be in origin, and the reason why literally everyone on earth has to know tummy and have skin care and routine. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourselves for Judgment Day, as his eminence Mark Zuckerberg will rain down wrath from the heavens, sitting upon his throne and laughing at us. And as he lays down his reign, he will boldly claim, I am Ozymandias, King of Kings. Look upon my works, ye mighty in despair. And as such, that marks the capitulation of our freedom as individuals. The error of all Wellians has been healed, and nothing is no longer sacred. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I imagine that all of you are thinking I'm being quite melodramatic, and I perhaps that my love for the arts and dramatic flair take precedence here. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Art can summarise as a social media being categorised into a foe. It really isn't as much of an issue. I mean, it, it, it's, it's, and if you forgive my drama, I'll shall explain why. Look, the, the, the endless news articles, the meandering talk shows, and the pretentious academics frame social media as this flavour of month topic to paint as a drastic problem, all while spousing nothing, nothing other than intellectual fast food. The reality is, is that social media isn't any greater than a threat to society as does a 1987 Daihatsu charade. The argument suggests that social media is a foe that really achieves nothing more than saying it's bad until you're blue in the face. Rather than having such a myopic view of people's inability to control themselves, how do we encourage healthy use of social media? The opportunity to share photos of friends and family and stay in touch are just new methods of communication within the modern world. I am, however, in no way suggesting that social media is free of sin. But to say that social media endorses this culture of vanity and bullying that we see constantly is a broad statement that is a bad side effect of the growing world. At its core, it is social, social media is nothing more than a platform that allows people to share ideas, photos, and videos. This then begs the question, is it the platform or the people that create the problems? It's analogous to the adoption of, say, the motor car. We can see that car accidents are part and parcel of the use of cars. But it revolutionised the way we travel from horse and car. Is it the human error or mechanical failure that causes these accidents? And it's a combination of both of them, the same is applicable towards social media. But by outrightly categorising social media to friend or foe, it fails to understand the nuances that come with it. Its operative function is quite neutral, really, but like anything you can be abused, it's like fire, you can know, cook, you can know, warm, but it was used fire to destroy. Social media is this mutual entity that we work with. Instead, I propose this idea. Instead of splitting into a dichotomy of friend and foe that's quite ridiculous, have ambivalence. To think there's nothing, to think there's anything profound in taking a large stance in social media is really nothing more than mental masturbation to make us feel good about ourselves, pretend to have something meaningful to argue about that. Social media is here, and our methods of communication is forever change and continue. It is the human condition to use or abuse platforms. But that's the beauty of it. We should allow the individual to have self control. So not leave it to a collective group that would say, yeah, we'll name to that. To say that social media is really a friend is like saying, you can make them work if you're a friend. Sure, you can put up on maybe, just maybe, it's as equal with the personality you relate to. But you're in no rush to fight with that kind of thing until you meet the wife and kids. <laughs> on the contrary, to claim that social media is a foe, it's really cherry picking the dog right, slightly to everyone else's social media activity. It just isn't reflected. Ask yourself this, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to use social media, who should care? Thank you very much. FOMO. <laughs> fear of missing out. Is it a real fear? Good God, it is. My God, it is, ladies and gentlemen. It is a real fear. You have no idea the anxiety us young people face when the splendour and the grass is running out. 
when the actual FOMO festival of Ireland are running loose on our bank accounts. And here I am, stuck at home, re-watching the Netflix series over and over again, my anxiety coming to new lows. And as I flip through Instagram, the nice cool thing with the last hot bus, the, that last hot on social media, I see everyone else enjoying themselves. And what I get? A horrible, distraught fear. You know why? Because I'm missing out. No, I'm just... <laughs> So I'll continue on this. It's that this fear I'm feeling right now. It's the same fear I experience when I don't go to that particular festival that young people like to attend to. Thank you very much. <laughs>